Hi, good evening, or good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. This is Amy Smith with Calvary Chapel, River Oaks, um, head of the Women's Bible Study Outreach. And I hope you're all doing well. And last week, uh, when I was reading from chapter 11 in, in Romans, I said that there was a supporting reference verse in Romans chapter 59. Well, Romans doesn't have a chapter 59. Romans goes up to chapter 15. And what I meant to say was that there's a supporting verse in Isaiah chapter 59, verses 20 through 21. And... Uh, Uh, but before I get started in Romans chapter 12, I just want to pray and give thanks. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are so good. What awesome God I serve. And I, it's such an awesome privilege to be your mouthpiece. And I thank you, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that whoever needs to see this will. And that not my will, but your will be done. And I pray, Lord, that you would help me to read these words and that your words would just fall out of my mouth and anything else would fall by the wayside. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. And just to backtrack, Romans chapter 11, verse 36 for of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever. Amen. Now starting Romans chapter 12. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service, and do not be conformed by this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that it is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace, even to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but Think soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function, so we, being many, are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. Having then gifts of differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. If prophecy, let us prophesy uh, in proportion to our faith or ministry, let us it in our ministering. He who teaches in teaching, he who exhorts in exhortation, he who gives with liberality, he who leads with diligence, he who shows mercy with cheerfulness, let love be without hypocrisy. Arbor what is evil, cling to what is good, be kindly affectionate to one another, with brotherly love, in honor, giving preference to one another, not lagging in diligence, fever in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, con continually, steadfastly in prayer, distributing to the needs of the saints, given to hospitality, 
Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice, and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. And then a reference is Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who have cursed you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. And Luke chapter 6, verse 28. Bless those who have cursed you, and pray for those who spitefully use you. There it is again. Luke chapter 23, verses 34 and 39. Verse 34 in Luke. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And verse 39 in Luke. Then one of the criminals who were hanged, blasphemed him, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. And then picking up on our text on verse 17. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, inasmuch as depends on you, live peacefully with all men. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath, for it is written, Vengeance, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, and then Proverbs 20, verse 22, do not say, I will recompense evil. Wait for the Lord, and he will save you. Doesn't mean that you should uh, be like... Uh, run run over or run down but in in the natural when someone does us wrong we want to get even with them or get angry or blow a fuse that's the human nature that's why it's mentioned so many times that to let the lord take care of it and you pray for them and that's what you do is you, is you pray for them and as it said earlier that you, your enemy is, is hungry, you feed them. If they're thirsty, you give them water to drink by doing this, by dumping, keeping coals on their heads. In other words, they will wonder why you're being so kind to them when they've been so mean to you. Uh, and, but I continue. Uh, Oh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 39. But I tell you not to resist an evil person, but whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. The first Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Not returning evil for evil or reviling for reviling. But on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head, just as I had mentioned before. In the Proverbs 25, verses 21 and 22. If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. For so you will heap coals of fire on his head. And the Lord will reward you. 
and we close in verse 21 of our text. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And that's it for today, chapter 12. It's a very short chapter, but it is a very strong one. And until next time, goodbye and God bless.